the news, the news, the news, the news where the whole world are weird for Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel has been released. Me say him free now. He will come out of jail today. Him release. So well, why you know that that is taking place? Vibes Cartel has been released from prison. In other words, there will be no more case for him. Him going to him family and him friend them. And I'm going to make millions of dollars. Blessed love, my viewers and subscribers. Wa Guan, hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing great. Now, my people, we're there again, Panis World Chat TV, with another Muta Baruka content. And this one is the latest stepping razor as of Thursday, May the 30th, the latest program, my people. The main topic of this one, everybody was anticipating vibes cartel to be free today, included me. Unfortunately, that is not the case and uh, in fact the judge actually denied vice cartel application for bail and uh, till further notice so guess vice cartel is not coming out it was a, a big disappointment but Muta Baruka shares his views and that my people and uh, a whole lot more in this one my people so definitely stay tuned because it's going to get really really interested but before we get into it my people you know it's a black power movement so definitely drop a like and subscribe share to a friend or a family so they can be a part of the movement. Now my people, let's take a walk. This is the stepping razor on a Thursday. Temperature is 31 degrees in Kingston. I don't know what it is in your area. But rainfall every day up here, which for me there. But it's still hot. Rainfall every day. What is going to happen now? With five star tell. IRFM, I think IRFM done there already. <laughs> I think IRFM done there already if actually tell you what is happening. So, you know, say, they will cut in soon to tell you exactly what is happening down in a parade so, in, a, in, a, in a King Street. A serious thing. Serious thing. Most people is anticipating that he's going to be freed. Most people that I know is anticipating that he's going to be freed. So we're going to see. And then on the other side of the world now, Donald Trump, the case about Donald Trump, is finished so the jury is out now to see what kind of verdict will come to Donald Trump I know that the whole world is waiting with breathless breath to see if them going to convict Donald Trump and the thing with the Donald Trump thing, I know, is that any way it go, he might go win, you know. I mean, win the case and get more popular. Because him just done set the tone for the people them to say him not guilty, him never sleep with no prostitute, even though there is evidence to show him do it. That is why they never put him on the stand. Because, you know, see if him start talk, appear confusion and mix up and just hang himself. But if him guilty, because him set the tone for say is a scam and is a Biden set up and them thing there. More people are gonna say, yeah, them set him up. But watch out, we're gonna vote for him. And if him don't guilty, according to the jury, he must set up the people them even more if he say see them you know, they tell you no say, I set them set me up man. Tell you, so we don't know, but we gonna see how it will go in the election in November, because really and truly now, Biden 
popularity is decreasing. And if Biden lose, it will be because of him stand with Israel. As some of see it, I don't know how you see it. Because him so stiff naked about what is happening with Israel and the genocide that them don't want to say is happening. Did you know that the International Court of Justice is charging Netanyahu for crimes against humanity? Is the first white man I will go in front of the court and get charged. Most of the people they who go in front of the court there is black people in Africa. No, the problem with that now is how are they going to get Netanyahu to appear in front of the court to stand judgment when America is there saying something else. America is saying that they're giving food. As a matter of fact, anybody see the 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 the, the peer, the wharf where them set up to help transport the food them to the people them, or it get washed away. Yes, the big big peer because millions of dollars just get washed away. So they have plan for fix it back. Say that okay, it will last about two weeks to fix back. But meanwhile, Biden is giving food to the Palestinians. He's also giving weapons to the Israelis. That is what it's called fog tongue. Fog tongue, you're speaking with a fog tongue. And the uproar over, over him still defending the atrocities in Israel, in Palestine, is well seen in America with the students rising up against him and some of his own democratic leaders are resigning over that incident. Serious thing. Serious thing. And Trump is round the corner just doing some like a fool, fool, idiotic something. I don't know where this man come from, Rasta. I don't know how he must, I mean, something, I mean, seriously, I am seeing that something is wrong with him. Yes. Nobody can just steal away the just so. No, man, something wrong with him, Rasta. Something wrong with him. And the problem is it, him could have win. <laughs> him could have win the election. That is the problem. Can you believe that? Donald Trump could have win the election in November. And you hear what him say? Any how him lose, it's going to be bloodshed. Which president get up and say these things in America? And so you know, say America is, is, is definitely a third world country because only in a third world country you hear people talk this way in an election definitely America owe the most money the government owe is, 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 is indebted to trillions of dollars and now them have a thing where there is no democratic willingness in the country, in the Senate, and not in the Senate, in, in, in the Congress. If you say, make we continue that way, it's a serious thing. See, I know them involved in so much war. Terrible thing. We're going to take the first break and come forward. Yes, we're there with you. On the stepping ways, I will go through the argument about Trump and how it just get away you now with him but as we say the stupid I'm is is the more MBS want him to win the weirdest thinking and talking to him though 
all pan stage, he may mimic this and a mock this and a jeer this. Them have a group of people who say, yes, I him them one for the president. I don't know who is these people. I know so some of them is like some redneck. <laughs> so, what them call it? What they call it? Uneducated. Wooly for them who are a, a rally around him. Them just don't have no sense of critical thinking and observation. But guess what? Him could have win. That is the thing, you know, him could have win. You know, you say NUM win every person who is not American, who come from our next country, I forgot to leave. Yeah. So I don't know how to Jamaican who up there if you start fret yet. He may have deport millions of people like that he must say. He may have deport millions of people. And he may become a dictator for a day. And he may hunt down all the people them who they put him in the mess where he claims him in and out. Including President Biden. Maybe I'm going to talk about execution and all them things like how I'm talking about the, the big soldier man, they say him should have been executed. A man have run for president and I talk them way there. You know? <laughs> have talk them way there. And that's why I know, say, it good or good if him win and it good or good if him, him, him lose. It, it good if him win. Because now you will see that America is not what a lot of people thought it would was. You know, see, because there's so much thing that him say and say, I could do that definitely as some little get stop or third world vibes in my own country. As, you know, see, third world, like a third world mentality. Or him behave and him react to things. If him win, well, when him say God save America, <laughs> I say God help America. <laughs> if him lose, it's a problem. Because him have some followers they were hell bent and wrecking the, the, the American system for him. It come like a, him is come like him come like well I, them actually say it. Him is the, the return messiah. Yes, you have people who say Donald Trump is the return messiah, Jesus Christ in him second coming. Them say that publicly. No, oh you fight that. You can't fight that. If him lose still a third world country, you yeah, look bad. Because it's not just him say the only way him accept the election, the victory of the, the election is if him win. That means he must say again, him not accept it if him lose. And the way it look and it look like him will lose. And I don't think this courthouse thing I will happen maybe today, this evening, are gonna make any difference to him popularity. Cause all them will come out and say, and them will tell you, I told you that it was a scheme by the Democrats for do me something. Cause you man know, <laughs> you have said a, a little thing now, say the man them, the FBI go down and marry Lago and it's like them must say. The FBI go down there, assassinate him. Joe Biden send them down there. <laughs> well, that brother did not easy, you know. That brother did not easy, Rasta. Trust me. So, Curtis me, if you did do a tune, it named Dirty Laundry. And I bridge him, do it over. Jamaican style, but him still say, Dirty Laundry in the country. We can't trust Uncle Sam. Oh, true. Listen. Yes, we just I say, we just get a, 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 a news report that the, the, the court, the, the vibes cartel didn't get delayed because of the inadequate courthouse where they put it in a, a too small overflow in the courthouse. 
So they move it from courthouse 9 to courthouse 1. That is the cause of the delay. We're going to keep you abreast of what is taking place downtown there. Yes. You know, we're going to watch another thing, and this is the, the election in South Africa. The election in South Africa. You have so much party around another election there that they must say there's a possibility that the ANC might not be, you know, ANC around the country from Mandela days. Well, they must say the ANC might not win the election. And two men we have to watch is Zuma, who was the president a year ago, and you know, him get charged for all whole heap of corruption and all them things, but him still dead. <laughs> A Malima, Malima, a whole heap of man, our people love Malima because of him, him stands for the land where America, where, where, where white people come take over the land and them need to give back the South African black people, them, the land that was stolen from them. So, and then you have the, the, the president, the no president, we, as an ANC man, so we are saying, yeah, I think it's about 50 different party in the election, you know. Yeah, it's about 50 different party in the election. No party that. So we are going to watch that too. And then we are watching the Congo and IT. We have a thing of a player. A news report from coming out of IT, you know, so things get a different way, you know. So we're going to come forward, we're going to play the Adam and come forward. All right. The news, the news, the news, the news where the whole world are waiting for, for Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel has been released. Me say, I'm free now. I'm going to come out of jail today. I'm released. So, well, why you know that that is taking place? Vibes Cartel has been released from prison. In other words, there will be no more case for him. I'm going to him family and him friend them. And I'm going to make millions of dollars. I'm released from bond. They know she's not at the party, man. <laughs> but he might come out of the prison door. Alright, so he might go release him, all right, well, him release, him come out of prison, pump band. Whatsoever that means. I don't come she and tell me what band when them say they release pump band what they mean. We soon link up with Geo for a report motor, so yeah man. <laughs> we are gonna have all of the details. Alright, so but so far what we hear now is that Vibes Cartel has been released and banned. And we're going to mean. But obviously, I'm not going to be in prison again. That is what I say, right? Yeah, man. Right? Yeah, all right. So, we have that news to get the people them. Okay, here we go. I read from reporters who don't there to tell me exactly the whole thing. But as far as we hear, he's released and banned. Yeah, he's released and banned. So, we're going to wait for hear that. And we're going to play this show now. We we have not play, all right. We have how much minutes? <laughs> we have how much minutes to the news? We want to give you a, a reasoning about what is happening somewhere else. I'm gonna see if I can find this thing. <laughs> I say, I just have it to till I find out. Say, I think I was going to connect to whosoever outside broadcast but it look like I missed the, the, the boat you know I'm trying to find back the thing you know believe you me what a judgment what a judgment I can't find thing all right so if I can't find it I'm going to play this the this is a report news report out of 80 them elect a new prime minister here we go 
After months of severe conflict on the Caribbean island nation of Haiti, that country does now have a new prime minister. UN development specialist Gary Connell named Haiti's new prime minister yesterday. Connell served briefly as the Haitian prime minister from October of 2011 to February of 2012 and then resigned after clashing with then President Michel Martley. The move comes as gangs continue to terrorize the capital of Port-au-Prince, opening fire in once peaceful neighborhoods and using heavy machinery to demolish several police stations and prisons. We're very thankful for your government's support to Haiti, not only after the earthquake, but for years and years, and we're grateful for the opportunity to have these discussions. Former U.S. President Bill Clinton and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton both in attendance at the announcement yesterday. The former Secretary of State remarking that she is honored to welcome Connell and that the leaders in Haiti are working hard for the benefit of the Haitian people. We're looking through the mirror. <laughs> no, that's serious thing because the, 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 the opposition leader, I am hearing that the opposition leader never have a Jamaican passport until he is a big, big, big coast man. How that possible? The man are running a government, I we have to say government, he may run in a parliament and all them something. There. And he did have a British vicious passport. No. We know the constitution say, and the connection with the constitution and the Britain and all them really. But you want know. I don't want Mr. Golden go around the thing, you know. I don't want him go around the thing, Rasta. You're supposed to in a parliament swearing allegiance to the Jamaica and the people. No, it's one thing for have your British passport I run up and down with all over the place. But as a leader in other country, your Jamaican passport to come first. And you can't go around that. But I try to go around it like you want to get technical and all these things. You're supposed to have the Jamaican passport first. And we understand where your people them come from and all them something and your closeness with the people them. But you have man who did ban a bastard. <laughs> I care that to call him there, but I shall. Remember when them say Siaga ban a bastard, he man of Jamaica and all them something there. Siaga come down here. When you're a baby and when you really hear from the shout, he become the leader of him party and then him run in an election and win. But guess what? He never win with a passport from America. Time don't give up that. And that means he uh, is to Jamaica. No, me not say no go around the bush and go around the corner with it. If you want to run in the government of Jamaica, you claim, you claim, um, what you call it, republic status. Jamaica is supposed to move to republic. It's supposed to show with that the passport there. Yes, because if you're government, you can't go as a diplomat and go into the country without, without the British passport. So it's not like, say, if you don't have no British passport, they're not going to allow you in the country. He's a member of the government of Jamaica. So if you just fix that and stop going like you want to go around the car and go around the bush. You see it? That you go put a little tint on your popularity where it look like it a grow. Your popularity look like it a grow. And you know I come with something now to make it get tainted. We know what the constitution says, you know, but we have moved from the constitution there. I can't tell what's supposed to happen in Jamaica. Jamaica is moving away from the constitution that was given to Jamaica by Buster Manti and Manley from the colonizers. 
So now we're in a different level now where we are searched for our own identity. And if a man who is a member of parliament can't see say, the Jamaican passport supposed to Trump. <laughs> and I know I said Trump as Trump, but <laughs> the Jamaican passport is supposed to over your British passport. Because you don't need a British passport if you're a member of government. You travel by your Jamaican passport as a member of the Jamaican government. It's just that. It's not a crime. It's not a thing. It's just that it don't look too good. It don't look too good. Because the other day when I hear the mention about the Constitution, I say the Constitution don't stipulate certain things. I say, all right. If the Constitution does stipulate it, you know, so be it. But when we go here now, say, he never have no Jamaican passport for years. And I defend Republic, but see, it's still a whole lamp and colonizers thing. It's your business. It's like how you have some people you now that say they want a whole lamp and the, 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 the court in England still it, because of where I go on today. How can we now, I say we are Republic, and still the vestiges of colonialism still hang over our head. Supposed to let go that. It's a common argument that, I don't know, round the bush argument, Bridget. I don't know, round the bush argument. We understand the connection with the England. But now, you look for all the highest office in Jamaica as the Prime Minister. And it's just to let it go. Simple. Simple. And I like I know Jamaica we have him American passport and him have the Jamaican passport. And you know say you have bully per man, you have musician we have British passport and Jamaican passport. And what happened is that him find it easier for go through the country them with the British passport because you have some country like Canada which is a member of the Commonwealth and you can't go in there with a British passport and don't feel no way like say you might get antagonized and if you can't go through the Jama with the Jamaican passport it's supposed to have a visa in there I just simple that I saw them do them thing I saw them set up them something the places where we can go without an, a visa stamp for the country where we are go is like South Africa, Brazil, I think Kenya too, or Tanzania, I think Kenya, you can go in there without visa. Even though we get we go through Ivory Coast. <laughs> it's a joke. We go through every coast without the visa. Them say visa and arrival. And when we reach there, the people they want to about the visa, they were there. I have to sit down at the airport. <laughs> I hear them do. Them say, all right, here we are. We'll take out the passport and we'll go to the hotel. All when the show, we we'll go down there for God, though. Done and everything. But three, four days after, we don't get back a passport yet. That means that we're going on the place without visa. And it's when we are come out now. We see the visa stamping on the passport. It's a joke business. But that is the way certain people do the madness and make it look like it's a logical thing they might do. Now, president and prime minister are supposed to have passport will represent the country where them is president and prime minister have. Our parliament here and up. So, oh, you're going like you're, you're married to the passport. Or you're going like you're married to passport, Rasta. You think he was a socialist? 
You think it was a socialist bridge, but if I don't say they are well armed and Queen Elizabeth something so. And not just the Queen Elizabeth, Prince King Charles something so. You know see? It's just a simple thing, man. Don't go around the bush with it. It does that. Don't go around the bush with it, man. Just face it. Jamaican passport you have. I just simple. Jamaican passport. We are gonna go far. We are gonna go for a break and come forward. Step in. Yes, yeah. Yeah, great one. Blessed man. Yeah, man. Long time in that. I get man. <laughs> eh? Don't talk, don't talk the way I do. Yeah, brother. All right, yeah, sir. Man. No, I'm, no, I'm big yet, man. But here, I know, no. See, now, brother, my friend, what do you know? He come in to me like a big woman at work. Big woman at work? Yeah, man, a man in time. All right, me ready to go see a man in time, you see? Eh. And I be a woman, me see a girl work a man in time. I'm a man in man. Man in a work a man in time. You'll have to ask them that because I'm a man in a single man boom, I'm a man in a single man boom, brother. And I be a man, me see a girl work. So, what's going on? I don't know. I don't know. Why? I'm a man in a phone call, I'm a man in a great one. Where, where, where you think? Where you think I go on? Tell me where you think I go. Me no know where I go on, but I just be human. Me see a girl come on in time. Any man in the pan you will have to make an adjustment. So where you say? Wait, wait, wait. Let me, me ask you a question. Mm. The places where you see where job available, like construction and all them something, a taxi a drive and and a man a drive it. What? Eh? Let me talk. I'll be a woman, me a part of that work. Listen to me, I said, no. Yes, if woman now go, if man now work, but me ask mm. you, them mm. construction side where you see a go, and the yeah. taxi them and the bus them where you see a drive. No pure man you see in there, a drive. Mm. Then that means a man I got work, but it's like you not see them. You see the little man them on the car and I go like them, an idiot. <laughs> what man I got work? Okay. Well, I want to read you. I want to read you. I want to read you. I understand where you are still, you know, but you can't yeah, just yeah, yeah. spread it across the road so and yeah, not expect yeah. care for crash. You know, see, you have to know, say, yeah. whole heap of place. If you're going to the bank, them, mm. you, you see, man, in their work, you know, insurance yeah. company, like you see, man, in their work, yeah. you know, the taxi man, them, and most the taxi man, most the man drive taxi. Yeah. So maybe you don't, you don't live which part of taxi man live. <laughs> I'm mm. no, a careless man, live which way you live. <laughs> yeah, well, when, when you see them, you are going to work? Me, 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 me. No, me ask you, when you see them mm. on the road, I'm on time, you are going to work when you see them? Mm, mm, mm. How much o'clock you go to work? I'm not going to work at the same time. Day. Yeah. But I'm not going to work at the same time. I'm not going to see woman them mostly. I'm not going to work at the same time. Day. Where are you going to see you? You're a fisherman? You're a fisherman? You're a dive man. Where you go dive up? Come. Eh? We just we just, we just dive. Just like we just like I see a man in time. You rotate time half hour. Oh, no. let me say you don't work a man in time then. No man, me go out work by eight o'clock, man. And and left when? Eh? When in the evening. In the evening. So when you go for dive, when you go to dive, what dive? Me just me just me just go swim, me just go roll and swim. You rotate time to hot, you know. How much time? How much time a week you do that? Probably three times. What? I'm on in there. I'm living in there. Then, oh, when a man passed, oh, when a man passed, you see, you know, and him see him, say, wait. The man and I don't work, that's how them did them, or was they swim. They must have their work. No, sir, we're not going to work so early. Early, I'm on in there, I'm on in there. Yeah, I'm on in there. All right. Hey, so, so you look like England still won Jamaica, then, man. Basically. And that's it, that's it? It look, it to me, it look like England still want Jamaica. Why you say that? Hmm? Why you say that? Because if, if everything, if every, if Sydney, where everyone got England, and I mean, they still want me. Two of, two of, two of me, I see, two of me, I see. Yeah, yeah well, one could actually say yes, still, you know, mm. because if so you forgot, if you got solved, cry. We're not going to celebrate independence, yeah. Yeah, we don't know. Well, I want and and then one of the, one of the, the, the main politicians have, American, mm. I'm, I'm sorry, British passport. Yeah, and you come here, you know, want to give it up. Yeah, I don't know why I'm going to give it up. When it might be the next Prime Minister of Jamaica, mm. so far far we are going, you know. Uh, to me, it's coming like I just be armed, those things are going, yeah, man. That's why I'm say, I'm happy. You don't know what I'm going to do when they're not there. When who's not there? You, if you're if, if if gone. If you're gone, you don't know what I'm going to do. Eh, well, all you have to do is go and see your job. 
Like how you go there every morning. I don't go on the Euro camera. Just All right, sir. Maximum, man. Maybe it's a maximum, man. Yeah, man. Give thanks, yeah, Virgin. Yeah? Yeah, yeah? All right. Yes. 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 Hello, um, listeners of IRFM. Um, we've just concluded the court proceedings, of course, for the bail conditions of cartel, um, which the judge has just made her decision, saying that um, she has denied the application for bail at this time. Um, basically, what, sh- what I gathered from the, the court proceedings was that even though the Privy Council had granted um, a quashed verdict, she, um, the basis of what they're saying is that quash doesn't necessarily mean an acquittal. And as such, because there was not enough acquittal would mean that complete uh, discard the charges. The court, um, the Jamaican court, believes that they still have charges to answer to once the Jamaican Court of Appeal makes their decision. And so it, it all comes down to the Jamaican Court of Appeal to now either decide we go to a retrial or it's that they will be completely acquitted. So, so all right. A while ago, me get a news, say, uh, cartel. Yo, 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 yo. You can go somewhere else? Yes, I'm coming out of the courtroom as we speak. Yeah. I'm actually trying to get up. Um, I'm actually, everyone is trying to get to Mr. Buchanan, but of course, with the decision, as you all, saw, as you all heard, he has actually left the building in quite a, a rush. Yeah, all right. Let me ask you a question. A while ago, me get a news from IRFM say, Vibes Cartel is an, a band. I'm going to be released, but I'm on band. Where does news you come from? No, I am not sure. So, while, to be honest, while, with, while in the court proceedings, I, I was able to check some social media platforms, seeing um, decisions being placed on, the, on their social media platforms for the past 20 minutes. But the judge, I can tell you, literally just two minutes ago, made her decision. No, so I know. Fair. I just asked because I have me a call out the thing, say, <laughs> Vibes Cartel free upon a band. That, well, I that know is, you said, no, no, go so. No, that is not the case. Um, as I said, her final decision, um, Mr. Buchanan presented the case as a habeas corpus, mm. and her final ta- her final words were that for that application, it is denied. So I'm going to go back to jail now? Precise. That is, from what I've gathered, that is, that is what is, will happen. And when that going to call up now again? Um, I, I think I think the court the court of appeal should see the case. Um, is it sometime next week? In, sometime in June, I, I was told initially. Yeah. So then, when the, when the court when the application is brought before the court on that day, then everything will be decided. Okay, all right. Well, you yeah. know, I want if whosoever worked on the radio, tell them to fix them news here. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm actually ch- let me see if I can. I'm actually trying to reach one of the lawyers right now, but as you know, um, yeah. everybody's a bit, Everybody you know, busy. yeah. Um, it's, but it's still, it's, it, I'm, 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 it's still tense down here in downtown. Um, there's a, a level of, you know, yeah, disappointment, disappointment among the fans out here. Um, every person was actually hoping to, yeah. to, to have him freed based on the conversations that I had prior in, before going into the court. And so I can tell you, most persons outside in downtown Kingston right now, they're still very much disappointed. Yeah, everybody was disappointed still who really have followed up the case and Vibes Cartel and all them made it. So, may I say, my only thing is that me make a pronouncement on the radio a while ago. I'm going to come here and say, no, you who don't let know which part me get the news from. <laughs> Not at all. I got a, I got a picture with IFM social media from Twitter saying that he was granted bail. And I'm sitting in there in the courtroom wondering who is giving this information. It from? <laughs> but I, when we checked it out, it was someone that created a fake IFM Twitter page and placed to, and put out that information. So persons are being disingenuous. Mind not that them tell you to say, you know. No, man, not at all. After not them don't make me ball out on the, the radio where about 100,000 of people are listening to me. Not at all. I, as I said, I'm still very much here at the court. Sorry. 
I'm still very much here at the courtroom and I'm yeah. trying to get someone who can actually, you know, properly articulate what just transpired, but based on no, my... You say, you say what you say, man. You say what you say. That I'm going to stay in a jail until them come up the case. Maybe yeah. that junior for, and next thing. So, him is not free. Him is not free. That is what we have saying. All right, Bridget. Give thanks. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Give thanks. Advertisement time. Yeah, so we'll go over to E.T. again. Well, I'll tell you, so them just elect a new prime minister. But I tell you, we're going to we, we make a play this report, yeah. 49 past the hour, new outrage this morning over the violence in Haiti. Two U.S. missionaries and a local religious leader were killed by gang members over the weekend after leaving a church event. This attack comes as gangs now control about 80% of the country's capital, Port-au-Prince. Let's bring in Miami Herald correspondent Jacqueline Charles, who has been covering the crisis closely and was in Haiti recently. Jackie, it's always great to see you. I thank you so much for being with us. What do we know about this attack on the missionaries? Well, what we know is that they were the victims of two separate gang attacks. Um, the first attack happened as they were leaving church um, on Thursday night. Um, Davy was actually the husband. He was tied up. Um, the gangs went in. They looted um, the property. And then another gang um, showed up, according to a conversation we had with Davy's dad, who's been in Haiti over 26 years. Um, they said that they were coming to help and somehow mayhem broke out, shots rang out, the house was set on fire. Davy um, and Natalie were actually in Davy's parents' house trying to call um, the dad to tell him what was happening. They were using the Starlink internet at the time. Um, the Haitian police says that they have launched an investigation. Um, I have to tell you that that particular area where the orphanage is located um, you know, they really haven't been much of a police presence because the gangs have completely taken over. Mission in Haiti is surrounded by at least three different um, armed groups that we know of. Jacqueline, that's what happened to missionaries, and it's, it's a tragedy, a horrible tragedy. But Jacqueline, the Haitian people have been suffering extraordinarily for the longest time. I mean, we can go back... In history, we can go to the 2010 earthquake, but we should also look at this latest, the killing of the of the president. But the suffering of the Haitian people right now is at just really uh, dangerous levels. It is. I mean, the gangs control more than 80 percent of Port-au-Prince, the capital. You have millions of people who are struggling to eat, over five million. You have at least a million that are looking at famine. Um, more than 30 hospitals have been looted, vandalized, burned. Today, if you suffer from a chronic illness like kidney disease, um, you really cannot get um, a dialysis treatment. Uh, we're seeing cholera come back when Haiti was just months away from eradicating that. Um, it really is a horrible situation. People are completely paralyzed. People are not able to go out. If they do, they don't know if they're going to make it back home alive. So, yes, while the killing of these missionaries, unfortunately, is bringing attention to this, Haitians are dying every single day. They are being killed at the hands of armed gang violence in that country. And so, Jacqueline, what is the solution or is there a solution? I mean, you're reporting exclusively that, for example, the police deployment from Kenya is facing delays. What is going on there and what is the mid-term or is there a mid-term solution so ironically this killing happened on the same day that the Kenyan troops were expected to land in haiti but that money is being blocked at least um, 40 million of the 100 million that the state department um, has a pledge of being blocked by Republicans in the GOP who do not believe um, in this mission. The options today are, what are they? Go to the UN for another UN peacekeeping mission. Do nothing. American troops, which you know, President Biden said a few days ago, that's not going to happen. Or you get a third country, and Kenya's a country. No one is saying this is a silver bullet, just that you need to create some space so that the Haitians can start to put together some sort of a plan to try and rescue this country. Yeah. Hello? 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 Yes, yes. Who's this? Your guest, yeah. Mota. <clears throat> this is Phil Smart. Huh? 
Oh, new small. New small. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. All right, so much things happening, you know. All right. The reason why I wanted to speak to you is about this debacle with um Mr. Golden in passport and him being a parliamentarian. Yes. What is it that is uh, we're not hearing? What we're not hearing? I think you've heard all that needs to be heard. Mr. Golding has made his own decision that seems to be that he's not going to give up his British citizenship. Or oh, if he's uh, not going to give it up? Pardon? If actually the same not giving it up? Well, so far his action has not indicated that he's willing to give it up. He has oh. said, however, that if the Jamaican people feel strongly about it, and I don't know how he's going to test that, perhaps he will test it based on the reaction to the discussion that's taking place now, then he's prepared to consider that and take the necessary action. That is his decision. So he don't see it as an important part of the 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 being a Jamaican, being in Parliament, and knowing that the, you're supposed to have a certain um, decorum as it relates to who you're giving your or as a soul to. Well, I don't, I don't think he sees it that way, and I don't think it's a question of who you're giving your soul to. As I understand it, Mr. Golding was born in Jamaica, the hospital at the University of West Indies. And that he has lived all of his life here except for times when he studied abroad. His father was an Englishman. His mother, I think, was Jamaican but had some English connection. He went to school in Jamaica, um, high school, uh, prep school at uh, Mona Prep. And he went to high school at Campion. And he has, all his working life, he has been here. Without question of his soul. But he has to make his own political decision yeah. as to whether or not he thinks that this, what I call a distraction, is going to allow to be, remain in the public space. Yeah, if you yeah. saw the cartoons that were in the Gleaner today, it, 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 it's saying that a leading member of the opposition, the speaker is saying, thank you, uh, Mark for distracting attention away from me. He has to make up his mind what he wants to do. All right. Why, why I use the word soul, you see? It's because his father is, is, is from England. And it would appear to me that him have that closeness and connection with him father rather than the British um, mm -hmm. government. So Yeah, I think, I, think he's, I think he's very attached to his father. His father, yeah. his father's contribution to humankind was in Jamaica. Yes. He yes. came here in 1953. He died here and he's buried in Jamaica. And he did outstanding service for all people in Jamaica, mainly very poor people. Yes. Um, and I knew him. He was a wonderful human being. But Mr. Golding must make up his mind what he wants to do. If he wants to keep this matter as a matter to be debated, so let it be. But in my view, um, it is taking attention away from a number of other important constitutional issues yes. that ought to be discussed. What, what, what is it that, it, when you said the, the, the other things then that should be discussed, what is it taking away from? What, what is it taking away from it? Well, when we, when we, were, when we, were, when we had meetings in the capitals and a couple other places in the country, a lot of people felt that they do not have the right to elect the prime minister. They don't vote for the prime minister, and the prime minister is by far the most powerful person under the Jamaican constitution. In fact, I think it was with that who said, you know, the Prime Minister is a dictator for five years. And, um, and they say, if you're going to replace the 
president, if you're going to move and become a republic, a number of people are saying that we should be able, the ordinary people of Jamaica, should be able to vote for the president. Yes. Um, that is not the view that the Constitution Reform Committee took. Um, because it has very serious implications in how we'd have to change up everything about how we are governed in Jamaica. So that is one of the issues that I think needs to be openly discussed so that people can have an understanding of it. Another matter about which I am very concerned is that the education of the people of Jamaica about what is in the existing constitution has not been undertaken in a way that gives the people an understanding of why we need, as we move to, our, to become a republic, to change a number of different things in the country. So um, I think that is another matter. There are other matters that um, need to be taken right through the school rooms and the villages yes, and yes. talked about so people have an opportunity to know when I go into the polling room to vote, what am I exercising my power yeah. to do? Well, you know, because I, 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 this, is, this should not be one party against another. It should not be the program of the government and the yeah. program of the opposition. It should be the program that is put forward in the interest of the, of the broad mass of Jamaican people as a national program. But I talked to some youth when I the corner them and thing, I said, so tell me something, Bridging. What do you ask about the Constitution? Then I ask me one name, sir. Exactly. I spoke to people yeah. who work on a building site near to where I am living. Yes. They have no idea what we're talking about, what, yes. what has been talk, spoken about. So how that oh 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 you think that can penetrate the wider population? Because it's, have you seen now penetrate the wider population? All this town hall meet where we are here about and think it seems as if it's not penetrating the wider population. You know the, the town hall meetings were largely organized by the custodians, the custodies, I think is the way yeah. that big word is pronounced. Yeah. The custodies of the different parishes who spoke to the JPs, and then you got a cross-section of people coming out. Sometimes you got young people, yes. you got a lot of business people who may have had an interest, but you didn't get the man who was working in his field. You didn't get the people who um, have a little corner shop. Yes, yes. You don't get the people who are taxi drivers. You don't get the mother who have to hold down two or three jobs and go to market and sell things, um, you know, to keep our children in school. Yeah. So the town hall meetings, I have taken part in a couple of them. They were not reaching down to the grassroots the masses, of the society. The masses. And when we check it, it's like, remember when the COVID come up and the vaccine and every kind of your turn... Those arguments about the vaccine was in your ears by your TV. Discussions are going on about if COVID is COVID or is a conspiracy. Everybody had a, a, a feeling of what this COVID and if they're going to take the vaccine or they're not take the vaccine. So it, yes. I think it should be something like that. Where it makes, yes, because and in the case of COVID, remember also that apart from the fact that it threatens the health of everybody. Yes. But they had political views or no political views. It was a matter on which some spiritual leaders, church leaders, yes. had strong views. It was a matter on which that affected how children going to school would be affected, Fifteen, how they would yes, yes, towards yes, yes. each other and so on. And the constitution should be broken down into terms that those same people that got excited or concerned or fearful about COVID should yes. also get excited, I, concerned I, yes, definitely. about what is this constitutional change that has been spoken about. Because there was so much 
arguments between people, even upon the corner of them, about what is COVID and COVID real and all them something. And if one has said them not take the vaccine there, them prefer take the other vaccine. Some have said them not take the vaccine. This was a corner street, corner thing. It's not unlike we are going here, so now with the Republic talking. No, no, yeah, and of thing course, now, Mota, of course, the interest that the ordinary Jamaican people took in COVID would have been strengthened by the fact that their relatives abroad were facing the same challenges. They were getting information mm. from cousins, relatives, people coming and going. You couldn't just get up and go to America without taking certain precautions. Yes, yes, or yes. go to Cayman, or go to England, or Cuba, or anyway. And so right now, those people don't have um, assistance from others yeah. who are experiencing outside, COVID outside, in other countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to, uh, about constitutional matters. We need, we need a long, detailed conversation. It's almost as if we need to go back to when we are Jamal. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, but, our, you know, you know the... Not everybody has seen it that way. And we are now seeing that as a result of that, as I told you, the people at the construction site here, when I talk to them, uh, them say, what at Them don't know. Uh, and them go, they don't have to come and talk about it. Some you say that to me too. They have every day. Mm. So I go home and, and rest off. Yeah, you know why you're not going COVID, yeah. Yeah, but the government needs to take that into account. Yeah. The opposition needs to take it into account. Because so, at the end of the day, the people have the right to vote. But the, the problem with this thing, I know, it seems as if it becoming a PNP and GLP conversation by with themselves, you know. Unfortunately. unfortunately. Everything where one bring up the other one, no, no, I agree with it. Everything that I want to bring up, that I want to lick it down. It's like it's it, it, it not being a people thing. It's being a political thing. And that now work. That definitely not work. It will not work, Muta. And we have to wheel and come again. Yes, yes. All right. Well, give thanks again for your interest in sending out your well, experience. If I can help, I will help. Of if course. You need this, my assistance. This is part of the awesome. help. This is part of the yes. help. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. So much. Okay, with Mota. Thanks again for calling me. Yeah, that was you, Small. Yes. Who remember you, Small? Yeah, man. Great man, too. Not much is spoke speaking about him. Brother of my brethren, Jerry Small. Why you love Jerry Small? Yes. Why you love Jerry Small? So, yes, I just saw it there. You know, I just saw it there. Um, we get it, we, before we bring him on, we had to talk about Bruce Golden. Not you know, Bruce Golden. <laughs> we had to talk about Golden. And we had to say, Brethren, do what you do, but make sure we are done. Don't confuse the people. Them. Because if we did a talk about constitutional reform, and we did a talk about Lego the King, King's Council and Privy Council and all them things there. And you round the corner of a British thing. And, and as, as I said before, as I said to Mr. Small a while ago, I can understand the sentimental attachment to your family who is, who is England, English. I understand that. And it's very difficult for you to give up something where it's part of your blood. And say, well, right now, this is that and this is that. But then you take on, you take on to yourself something that is a task in itself in relationship to three million people that you might eventually be the leader for them. And if you are the leader for them, and we are get rid of the monarchy, and we are get rid of certain things, it come like you're there between the devil and the deep blue sea, you don't know. You're there between the devil and the deep blue sea. Because, trust me, you need to make up your mind, brethren. You need to make up your mind because it now goes to the whole time. It now goes to the whole time. People are going, when, when the GLP start to lick you with the argument there, 
Trust me, it not go nice. When the GLP start say, who don't really want a man who swear allegiance to Britain after we done legal slavery and colonialism and all that thing, like, you don't really want a man to come and now, come tell you know, how to run on your life? What chance will happen if it not get resolved before that election and next year the election, no? If it not get, if you, if you know, if you know, resolved before. And that is the whipping stick. Yeah, man, they're going to use that as a whipping stick for butter bruise you. And then you have your little friend, them now come out and I go and like say, them agree with where you are though. And a whole heap of them in the, in the PNP party now agree with it. How oh, you know that, Mr. Golden? A whole heap of the ones them in the People's National Party. Them don't agree with where you talk about and where you say. And as I say, it's a sentimental thing as far as me can say. It have nothing to do with the reality of the situation in Jamaica as it relates to parliamentarians and oh, what status them should have in a parliament. You know, see? You need to take care of that and don't make become a stumbling block in a your way. Because you help the people to make up their mind. Just like oh, one little case. Make a whole heap of people decide, say, them prefer stay with the Privy Council in England than have a Caribbean Court of Justice. One little case. You know, see? And that case change a whole heap of people's mind. Say, why we don't know you know, but it's like all the case, Vibes Cartel get thrown out by the, by the, 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 the Eng King of England. Maybe we should have stay with the King of England. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, Mr. Golden, don't be the spike in the grass, you know. Don't be the, the, the well, we Jamaica say the glass buckle in the grass. You know what that mean? When Jamaica say glass buckle, I really, the glass buckle, a grass buckle, them say, because you can't see the grass buckle. Amongst the grass, it just come up on your foot and juke you. I said, God, so don't be like a grass buckle. Where you know, say, boy, well, right now, the grass buckle might be there. And you just go on like, say, yeah, ignore it. I just said, God. So it go. So we just said that. Now nah, come back on it again. Believe you me, we now nah come back on it again. When you really check it out, you know. If you're really attached to your parents, and your parent is of a different elk or come from a different country. And in this in this conversation, well not conversation coming attack, as you may attack to. And you know there, you understand? You know, can't hear what I say, but if your father and mother come from England or Sweden or Spain or one of them European country, and you come to Jamaica or them come to Jamaica and you get for them citizenship which part them come from or him come from and you live in in a next country where you grow up it have a sentimental feeling where maybe I would probably now go understand it as it relates to how the individual connect with him parent and one of the ways of connecting with him parent is to connect with the country that him parent have allegiance to and give you that that beer to say if I am British I'm a picnic going to be British even if I'm there at Jamaica or Trinidad or whatsoever and he might grow 
in the other country. And the other country is a colony of the country where your parents come from. And you have that passport for years. Years. Because you know your soul you feel sentimentally attached to your father. It's just that. It can't be nothing else. It's a sentimental journey. Mr. Goli depends with him father and parent. Sentimental journey. But him take up a task on him head that the individual the individual understanding of impersonal relationship should not trump, when I say the word again, the relationship we're supposed to have to the people of the country where him decides, say, him want to govern them because him feels, say, him can have a better way to govern the people. And I say, I never ever talk about it again because it's in my skin. <laughs> it's in my skin. Him feels him can give them a better life. So, the question is asked. This passport that you feel sentimentally attached to because of your parents, is it overriding the Jamaicanness that you feel in a Jamaica that you want to be from your soul. You want to be the Prime Minister of Jamaica. And there is a possibility that that can happen. Are you now telling the Jamaican people, say, must overlook that it's going to be a big contention for you, Mr. Golden. Big contention. Trust me. Big, big contention. Yes. Donald Trump has been found guilty of all 34 counts that him go in a day court for contest. I'm going to repeat that. Donald Trump has been found guilty of all charges that was placed on him. What a pricky. What a pricky this. <laughs> we are talking about it from the beginning of the program, you know. We are talking about it from the beginning of the program. All of the charge them, the jury find him guilty of 34 charges. Remember, I say I'm about 60 had charged against him, you know, for other things. So now he has been charged for rape. What a man that him charged for rape and him that for pay the woman like how much millions of dollars and then him go back go well, create make inflammatory um talk against her and then the court lick him with a big money like millions of dollars and now he's going to court again and get charged again, falsifying papers and documents, and cover up, get you hush money for gay woman, prostitute. Can you imagine him wife, Rasta? She not got none of the thing them, you know. Can you imagine him wife sit down there and I listen to a prostitute a gay statement against her husband say him take off him this and put on that and she take one newspaper where him face the pan and beat him pan him bottom and then no him say him never have sex with her him say him never have sex with her you know and all of the papers them show say him a try to cover it up all of the papers anyway that is the latest news in the Donald Trump thing. Donald Trump has been found guilty of all 34 charges. Just come in, just come in. Just come in. Okay, so, 
We're going to give you the African names. We're going to give you the female names first. Abimbola. Abimbola. A-B-I-M-B-O-L-A. Abimbola means born to rich. Born to rich. Abimbola. Abina. Abina. A-B-I-N-A. Abina. Abina means born on Thursday. Abiki. Abiki. A-B-E-K-E. Abiki. Means to be loved. To be loved. And Akata. Akata. A-K-A-T-A. Akata. Means strong-headed. Good name them. Good names. Abimbola. A-B-I-M-B-O-L-A. Means born to rich. Abina. A-B-I-N-A. Abina. Means born on Thursday. Abiki. A B E K E means to be loved. And Akata, A K A T A means strong headed. Male names. Abu. Abu. A B U Abu means nobility. Nobility. Adisa. Adisa. A D I S A. Adisa. Adisa means he is precise. He is precise. Adio, A-D-I-O, Adio means he is righteous. He is righteous. Ajuma, A-J-U-M-A, Ajuma means he fight for what he wants. He fight for what he wants. So that's Abo, A-B-U, Abo, nobility. Adisa, A-D-I-S-A, Adisa, he is precise. Adio, a D I O Adio, he is righteous, and Ajuma, A J U M A means he fight for what he wants. Uh, so what way up now? What way up now? What him going to say now? What the hell with the judge? When him the done car say the judge that I work with Biden. When done car say the judge but well him can't say nothing about the judge as on now again. When I was about the jury, when I was say the jury they have people and it was directly the jury was a direct democratic jury jury jury. Whole heap of things are gonna happen out of this. Trust me. Whole heap of things. And him have some Marilago case that happen and out to Marilago case where one of the persons them who him select as a judge. I can I, I, I stall the court. Stall it. Don't want to bring it up. I stall it. What heap of things? He's a strange fellow, man. That man, strange. Very strange man, that. Believe you me. I, people are attack and attack and attack. Say, so why? Him kind of outspoken and. You can't be outspoken and not ridiculous. Yeah, you can be outspoken and not ridiculous, man. You don't have to come that way there. And how him come, it's kind of strange. It's strange. Well, my people, that was a journey. Give thanks to the ones and ones who made it this far, young yeah, man. Let me know what to think about Vice Cartel, Precation, for bail got denied. Let me know what to think about that and let me know if it's unfair game. Plain. And you all hear what Muta Baruch have to say, so definitely leave your thoughts. And you know it's a black poor movement, so definitely drop a like and subscribe. Share to a friend or a family so they can be a part of the movement. Now my people, I'll catch you in the next one, Irie.